Hey everybody, I'm Dominic from Mansman DIY. Listen, in this video, I want to show you how to install a home surge protector. Now, a lot of you guys, you know, you go out, you buy a computer or expensive TV, and you say, ooh, I need one of those surge protectors, and you go buy one of them. But obviously, they're only protecting what you have connected to it. So, say your computer or your TV, but just in my kitchen, everything is computer controlled. So, wow, we need to protect it. So, let me go through the house here and just show you a few items. Refrigerator, computer controlled, $3,000. Oven and hood, both computer controlled, $1,500. Wine cooler, computer electronically controlled. Dishwasher, electronic computer controlled, $1,500. Washer and dryer, computer controlled, $1,500. Computers and printers, <laughs> forget it, too much to talk about. Not protected. Priceless. TV and everything that goes with it, is it protected? I don't know. It was a long time ago. Anyway, thousands, right? Okay, okay check it out. Our main panel in the house. There's all the electricity comes in and where it all goes out. So let's get the protection started right from here. This is what we're going to put in. It's a home electronic protection device. They make different brands that make different levels of it better worse this is a hundred bucks go to my website I'll tell you which one it is I'm not promoting them okay uh, this is what we're gonna do we're gonna mount it to our one of the little punch outs right here and we're gonna wire it in we're gonna wire it to a 20 amp twin pole breaker so just like a 220 breaker if we were doing a 220 outlet it's the same everything okay so let's get going on this and I'll show you how to, we're gonna do it Okay, we have our device mounted. We have our two black wires. These are the wires that are, are gonna go to our twin pole breaker. We have our green wire, which is our ground, and our white, which is our neutral. Okay, so obviously the green ground wire is gonna go to our grounding bus bar over here, our neutral to our neutral bus bar, and of course to the breaker. So let me start connecting these and we'll go over all the fundamentals of it. Okay, our device is mounted. Our ground wire is going to our ground bus bar, our white neutral to our neutral bus bar, and we have our two blacks, our hots here, going to our twin pole breaker. Now it's just a matter of putting the cover on, turning the main breaker back on, and then turning this breaker on and watch our indicators and then we'll be protected. So let me put this together. Okay, our main breaker is on, our panel is energized. Now it's just a matter of turning our breaker that we just installed for our electronics protection device. Turn it on, our two lights come on, they indicate that it is working properly and being protected in the whole entire house. So all those items I showed you, without a doubt, they are being protected. However, for more delicate electronics, in my opinion, uh, expensive TVs, uh, the com computers, you might wanna, you know, it, it's not gonna hurt to add another better, maybe a better higher end one at that point. That's just my own opinion. Anyway, this is how it's done. This is how you protect all your equipment. You may not be thinking about it now, but believe me, when it's raining and thunder and pop, pop, boom, all that, you're going to be thinking about it. Get one installed. Talk to you then. Hope you learned something.